everyone. Welcome back to my video blog. This will be the second episode. Uh, we're going to try it again because I don't think I made myself look like a complete idiot. So we'll see if we can make myself look like an idiot this time. I, uh, I don't have a whole lot of news to report as far as flying goes. I'm still working on it. I've got a short and soft field landing flight coming up um, on well, tomorrow, Wednesday. We're going to get that taken care of, sharpen up some skills, make sure I'm done with all the uh, simulated instrument time that I still need. Sell. I still have uh, just over a half hour left of my simulated instrument time, and uh, which is great, awesome, flying underneath a hood uh, like this so that you can't really see uh, anything outside the aircraft, um, which makes for this great sensation of air sickness. Um, it's the only time in my entire life I've ever been air sick. And if this is what flying instrument is like, I, I'm not looking forward to it, but hazards of the job, I guess. I'm not going to do that anymore. It's making me air sick just simulating, simulating. Wife had a birthday last week, this last weekend, October 19th. That, that's 29 again. So she's very excited about that. Um, we're getting ready to go down to Phoenix next weekend for a WWE show. And uh, the family's coming out. Looking forward to seeing my parents and uh, my Aunt Mary and Uncle Les. It'll be phenomenal. Kind of a good time up here. Uh, you know, the rest of you can come visit me sometimes too. Because now Horizon Airlines and Great Lakes Aviation now fly directly to Prescott. Great Lakes from Ontario, Horizon from LAX. The airport's been fairly busy lately. We've been keeping fairly active here. Here you see the Ember Riddle Golden Eagles flight team's Cessna 152. They've won eight NIFA championships, including the last two years running. The Galpin Ford guy was out in his uh, L-39 Albatross the other day. And we had a nice visit from four F-18 Hornets from VMFA 314, stationed at Miramar. You may remember the Black Knights from the hit 1996 blockbuster film Independence Day, starring Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith was not present, unfortunately. Here we see how the Marine Corps deals with uncomfortable G-suits. Oh yeah, get that thing off of there. Man, that, that can't, can't be comfortable after a long flight. And of course, if you're the first guy there, all the guys from the FBO want to take a look at your jet. So you have to show off for a little while. Recently, Speed TV had coverage of the historic Formula One race at uh, Laguna Seca. There I am, right there. No, 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 right there. Yeah, no. Oh, you missed me? That's okay. Here's a still photo. See, that's me, and that's Mario. Pretty cool. Allowed me to get nice and close, and I got a good opportunity to get a lot of really great photos from that position. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Mario's an awesome guy, and uh, he was very cool to, to pose for a bunch of pictures. And sneaking out where I didn't belong without press credentials didn't hurt anything. I also got to climb Mount Humphreys recently. We left from Snowball at 9,500 feet, climbed a huge treacherous scree field up to 11,500 feet, where we found the wreckage from B-24 that crashed in 1943. Uh, this is an amazing hike if you're up to it it's amazing a lot of intact parts a lot of things that are very recognizable here's the gun tub armor from uh, the tail gun of b24 that professor bill waldock insisted on having his picture taken inside of uh it, it's a, a breathtaking hike literally breathtaking at 11,500 feet everything is breathtaking um, we also found a lot of really amazing parts that were very recognizable including uh, a, a fragment of human skull, which is seen here. Uh, we also found the nose turret tub that hadn't been seen previously. As you could see, the fragment of, of skull was not large. It was, it was very small, but Professor Waldock's daughter is a biologist, and she, she said the bone clearly was not uh, animal. It was human. It was from um, 
down here, base of the skull, next to where the ear is, um, they could see kind of the semicircular arch where that opening is. Um, I'm not a biologist, so I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to take their word for it. Uh, we did have to leave the remains there. Um, that aircraft is still property of the United States Air Force. The Department of the Air Force has uh, full rights over it uh, as an archaeological site, technically. It's still in the Air Force inventory, uh, even though this happened 65 years ago. So the body part could not be removed without notifying next of kin, and there's no way to find out whose it was because 65 years ago they didn't know what DNA was or how to sample it. So it's probably going to remain a mystery, but uh, it was a pretty significant find. They were looking for pieces from the Norton bomb site. Last year they found a, a fragment from the inside workings of that bomb site, which was deemed classified top secret in 1943, and the Air Force said that they had taken all of the existing parts out so to find a piece of it is definitely significant, and that's what they were looking for when they found the skull. I learned something fairly important today, and that is, as enticing as it sounds to drink a Red Bull Cola, don't. It's nasty. It's very gross. However, the pull tab is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see this pretty, very well, but, um, yeah, it's got a, there you go, a little Red Bull pull tab. I thought that was pretty neat. Other than that, it's trash. It's gross. Don't don't taste it. Don't touch it. Uh, if it if it asks you to get in its van and go for a ride around the block, run away and and call for an adult, because it's nasty. So that does it for this one. Uh, I will have another one up in another couple of weeks. People are watching this. I didn't expect anybody to watch it, but they are watching it. So I'm probably gonna have another one up. Like I said, in two weeks here. And uh, hopefully you guys will keep watching, calling, emailing me. Uh, I'm here. I'm not doing anything. Please contact me. I'm lonely. I'm going a little crazy. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to go throw up now. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in a couple weeks.